eight. I watched a movie that's from Norway called um, Jeg er Dim. I don't speak Norwegian, so that's probably a terrible accent. Um, the, the English translation, or at least the English title of the film is I Am Yours. It was written and directed by Irem Hack, who is Norwegian Pakistani. And it stars Amarita Acharya, who I guess was on Game of Thrones for the first two seasons. She is, okay, she's interesting. She's born in Nepal to a Nepalese and Ukrainian parents. But she grew up in London and Norway. And she speaks, um, she speaks like 8,000 languages. Um, where does it say? I lost it. But she, oh, she speaks uh, Nepali, Ukrainian, Russian, English, and Norwegian. That's a lot of languages. And a little bit of Swedish, because she speaks a little Swedish in this movie. Um, it's nuts. So the movie is about a woman named Nina, who is divorced from her husband. She's um, in her mid-20s. Mid She's Pakistani, Nor Nor Norwegian. And she um, is divorced from her husband, which already is bringing shame to her parents. She also um, is like a 20-something woman trying to find, I don't know, another relationship. So she's, you know, she dates and she dresses like a 20-something, you know, woman. Uh, like non-traditional tank tops and, and the like. Uh, and she's an actress, which is a, a um, occupation that her parents do not think is on, is, um, does the mini does the family any good. It's like a shameful perform profession. And at one point they, they like suggest that she could get another arranged marriage and then she could stop, stop bringing shame on the family. But um, obviously that doesn't happen. And then she meets a man who's a filmmaker who's Swedish, uh, played by Ola Rapace, who was at one point married to Numi Rapace. But as you can imagine, because she has a son, things do not work out all that well. Um, so this is one of those movies, it's very much a character, uh, piece and a character study. And sh she's a woman who knows she doesn't want to lead the traditional life that she was raised for, but she doesn't quite fit into the, she doesn't, she doesn't making the life she's trying to lead work either. And she's, she can, makes lots of bad decisions and has like a man that she sees all the time that has another girlfriend, but you know, it's just sort of a booty call thing. Um, she can't quite commit to her son, even. She just can't really, and she's jealous of the, the relationship her son has with her hus her ex-husband and his new wife, and she can't, she's never cast in any anything. You never actually see her, um, you see her standing like, like I am right here, talking to casting directors and it's always disastrous but you never actually see her audition so you don't even know if she can act or um or what and she's just a mess she's just one of those characters where she's a mess and you're like get it together girl just get it together um and she has terrible taste in men all of the men are terrible but especially the guy played by Ola Replace like I I kept going it's one of those movies where I kept going girl get out just punch him in the face and leave because he wasn't, like, violent or anything, but he was, like, an asshole. He was an asshole, and I was, I was like, you deserve better than that. Um, yeah. So, the problem for me with the film, though, was that it didn't, I couldn't tell what it was really saying. And I, and it didn't really, like, uh, I mean, she kind of had started out in one place and ended up somewhere else. So, sort of had a, a character journey, but not really didn't really feel like it committed to any of the ideas it was trying to much like the character that it was trying to express and the ending was just I thought very weak I was expecting something a lot I mean something dramatic does kind of happen but I was expecting something way more dramatic than and way more like solid of an ending I don't know I guess it's Europe where they don't have solid endings um sorry that's what I expect I'm such a drab American um Amrita Achari is really, really, really gorgeous. And she has a very expressive face. And a lot of the film is carried by the expressiveness of her face. Um, I can only imagine how 
more more impactful it would be on a big screen because a lot of there's a lot of close-ups of of her face and it's so expressive and I'm sure that if you saw it you know 40 feet tall and like that expressive or I don't know how tall the movie screens are anymore some of them are 40 feet right I don't know uh, so this was submitted by Norway for the best foreign language film for 2013 but it didn't get into the top five um, and this is Irem Hack's first film as a director. She's let's see what she's she's an actor and a, and a singer also. So she's got another film coming out soon. That's exciting. Yes, so that's exciting. Um, this is on Netflix, so you, you can watch it uh, for yourself. Come up with your own opinions. It's interesting how often. Um, or it's interesting it's an interesting film to watch for the fact that like well right now I've seen two Norwegian films this, is, this year alone I've seen two Norwegian films for the first time ever and they both were directed by women but they were like worlds apart in the kind of films they are um and I you know I wonder how many there's a whole Wikipedia article on Norwegian people of Pakistani descent I did not know there was like a whole like thing um, it's a lot of stuff I don't know about the world. That's why I think films are so interesting, is you, you learn, not just what you learn in the film, but then you're like, I didn't know that, and then you just look things up, and the next thing you know, you've learned a whole bunch of stuff. So anyways, this is um, I Am Yours from 2013, by written and directed by Imrem Hack, and it's on Netflix.